We thank God for a glorious time in God's presence. It's been God's faithfulness. All since the beginning of this month, and we are excited to be here again at the October 2022 Family Altar Prayer Platform. God has been awesome in our lives. I want to greet everyone. Happy new month of October. Happy new week. Happy new quarter. Happy independence. And happy Sunday. Happy, happy, happy everything. That means all through this month of October, we shall be, we shall have reasons to be happy and people shall have reasons to congratulate us in the name of Jesus. Once again, mm -hmm. happy new month, happy new week, happy new quarter, happy independence and happy Sunday. Happy independence to every one of us Nigerians and happy Sunday. Today we shall be looking at five blessings loaded into this month and how we can connect to them. Five blessings loaded into this month and how we can connect them. But before we go into that, I just want us to first of all, take time to appreciate God. I want us to first of all, take time to appreciate God and we are going to do it very, very heartily this morning. We are going to do it heartily this morning because uh, it's a privilege for us to be in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I want you to wake everybody around you up because nobody deserves to miss this session. It is family altar. Let's encourage our people, our husbands, our wives, our children to join. And even, where, if, even if our children are outside the house, we can encourage them to join from wherever they are. And every one of us be blessed in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we are going to, like I said, we are going to praise God first. We are going to call him who he is, Jehovah, the mighty man in battle, Jehovah, the mighty man of war. We are going to take this song that says, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah Oludeja. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah Oludeja. Oh, thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah Oludeja. Oh, yeah. Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah Oludeja. 
Oh, oh, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, oh, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Baba, what thank you for fighting our battles for us. Jehovah, oh, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, I just want us to begin to thank God. In that house where you are here, begin to thank him, begin to to appreciate him you may not know many battles has gone even even with respect to our lives since the beginning of this year god has is the one that has been fighting whether you are conscious of it or we are not conscious of it battles are going on over our lives every day you and i we are here today because god has been fighting the battle he has not just fought the battles he has been giving us victory even with respect to those battles i just want us to begin to glorify God. I just want us to begin to appreciate him. I just want us to begin to bless the Lord, to begin to magnify the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Day by day, in our dreams, even in daily, even, even, even when we are conscious, battles are going on for God, Jehovah, the mighty man in battle, the mighty man of war. You are the one that has been fighting for us. You are the one that has been giving us victory. You are the ones that have that has made us to be more than conquerors. Father, we thank you. Lord, we have come this morning, this October Family Altar Prayer Platform, to glorify you, to magnify you, to honor you, to adore you. Because of the many battles you have fought for us, because of the victories you have given to us, because you are the one that has made us to be more than conquerors. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. We honor you, we adore you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Lord, we give you praise because you are the one that has been for us. The Bible says, if God be for us, no, if no man can be against us. If God be for us, who can be against us? And the answer is capital none. Nobody can be against us. And because you have been for us, you are the one that has been fighting our battles. The truth is that day by day, there are battles going on with respect to all that has to do with our lives. But because we have you as our, as our stay, as our fortress, as our cover, Lord, you are the one that has been fighting and, be give, and you are the one that has been giving us victory. Lord, we do not take it for granted. We may not be able to begin to count this morning because they are too numerous to number. But Lord, we want to say, Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. We want to thank you from the depth of our hearts, Lord, because indeed you have been good to us. Lord, receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Even as we come to your presence today, Holy Spirit, we thank you because you are in the house. There shall be supply of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. I mean, there shall be outpouring of the spirit of grace and supplication, Amen. even upon us, your people, in the name of Jesus. And Jesus shall be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can I please um, take the technical crew to please stop spotlight uh, my video, if it is possible? Can you please spotlight it, if it is possible? Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome everyone to Family Altar Prayer Platform, where God is going to be ministering to our needs and where he is going to be delivering testimonies in our hands. Because the truth is that anytime we come to the presence of God, he does a lot, he does um, great things in our lives. Most importantly, anytime we come to his presence, apart from the fact that he gives us things, Apart from the fact that he answers our prayers, apart from the fact that he, he, he loads us with benefits, the truth is that even coming to the presence of God in prayers changes our lives. And that is the most important. That is the most important of why we come to his presence. Nobody comes to God's presence and remains the same. Please let us put our hearts on him and connect to him indeed. We have connected our devices to this internet, into our various internet. Please let us connect our spirit man to God. 
so that the blessings he has in store for us will come and stay and abide and abound upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. 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 We can only thank God some more. We can't thank him enough. And may praises always be in our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, welcome, welcome to October. Number one, this, uh, this month of October, like I told us, there are five significant things that the Holy Spirit laid upon my heart that we're going to be keen into in this month of October. But before we go into other things, and, and as, we key in, as we take each of them, we are going to be praying. We are going to be praying because those are the things God wants to do in our lives. Bible, God told a Abraham that as far as you can see, as far as you can see. So God is showing us all of these things because he wants us to see them. When we see them, we'll be able to obtain them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, this month of October is the month of double grace. This month of October is the month of double grace. This month, you know, the great, um, five is a number of grace. And if you look at a year, there's no year that has more than two fives. Two fives. There are two fives, then the other one is not up to five. So that this month is very significant. This month is a month of double grace. And that means that this month, we should expect the double of the grace of God upon our lives. There are other things we, we covet that we are desirous of as children of God. But there are certain graces God has given us as individuals. Every one of us on this platform has a particular grace or the other. You, you should be able to, you will be able to identify it if we are thoughtful enough, we'll be able to identify those graces of God in our lives. So we are going to be praying. So whatever the grace of God is in your life, some people have the grace to pray. Some people have the grace to minister. Some people have the grace to, to sell and to make profit. Some people have the grace to counsel. Some people have the grace to sing. Some people have the grace to worship. Some people have the grace of, you know, being spoken to by God. All manner of graces. I want us to pray this morning that, Lord, I receive double of your grace upon my life this month of October. Whatsoever is it that is the grace you are, maybe as a student, you are certain graces towards academics. You are going to be praying. Lord, I receive double of your grace upon my life in this month of October. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, oh God, unto you this morning, I receive double of your grace upon my life. I know you have bestowed graces upon my life. Lord, and upon the lives of everyone even on this platform, Lord. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. More of your grace, Lord. Double of it. Double. Double of it. Double of it. Double of it. Oh God, we receive upon our lives in this month of October. In the mighty name of double of your graces, Lord. Double of those blessings you have given unto us. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, number two thing I want us to know about this month of October. All this, all this, um, all this um, five points I want to mention, they are just three to where we are actually going. Praise the Lord. 
Apologies for the for the breaking transmission. It is um, network glitches. Praise the Lord. I said number two. This month of October is usually the beginning of autumn. You know, it's a, autumn is a season. You know of the year, and it's a time they call fall. You know, it's a season. That autumn, that the name autumn there means fall. And it tells me that all our enemies will fall before us this month of October in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I want us to pray. You know, the Bible says something. The Bible says something in the book of Psalm 9, verse 3. The Bible says, when my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. You know, when our enemies, because God will make our enemies to turn back from before us. Therefore, they will go and fall. I don't know what it is that is buffeting your life. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. You are going to say, Father, let my enemy fall at your presence this month of October. According to the, to the word of God in Psalm 9 verse 3, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I want us to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, let all my enemies fall at your presence. Let them fall before my face. Let them fall at your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this month of October, all the enemies that are against my life, against my, against the, the blossomy of that which you have put in me, Lord, I decree they begin to fall. Let them fall. Let them fall in the name of Jesus. Let them fall in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You know, the Bible says, we, we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. That means that we have enemy. And our act enemy, according to scriptures, is the devil. So if as Christians, some people feel, maybe somebody feels, uh, do I have enemy? Let me tell you, whether you are conscious of it or you are not, you every, everybody, especially children of God, has an enemy. And this enemy goes into people, goes into uh, people and, you know, you know, to, to act. And that is why when we spend, when we get to a point where we are told to pay, to pray, you know, against the activities of our enemies, I want us to do it as believing that indeed God wants us to do that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So this second, the second thing in this month of October is that it is the beginning. It is a time that our enemies will begin to fall before our faces. I don't know what it is that have buffeted you so far. God said to tell you that this month of October, you will trample upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever it is that has been issue, that has been problem against any one of us or against every one of us on this, on this platform, because of this season that we are in, this season when the, our enemies will begin to fall because we are entering autumn already, this season, all our enemies will fall before us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Health and sadness shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, number three, the, the first significant thing about this season, you know, is that this season, autumn, like I said, marks transfer of summer to winter. This season, naturally, temperature begins to cool considerably. That is what this season marks according to how seasons are, you know. And that tells me that whatsoever it is that has been giving you high temperature. You know, there are certain things that we look at that we get to our best. Sometimes you are not able to sleep. You are being tossed, you know, from left to right. You know, we are just counting the ceiling and all of that counting time for it to be, to be daybreak. God is saying that this season, because he has brought us to this season, he will remove all those problems from our lives and give us ease in the name of Jesus. So we are going Amen. to be praying. Father, remove pressure and tension for my life. Give me pleasure and comfort on all sides. I want us to pray. Father, remove pleasure. Remove pressure from my life. Remove tension from my life. In the name of, give me pleasure. Give me comfort on every side. You can streamline that prayer. You can make it specific on that particular thing that is giving you high temperature. Begin to pray specifically concerning that God will give you pleasure in it. That God will give you comfort. He will remove that that high temperature and it will cool it, it will cause situations for you in that mighty name. It will give solution and make and turn around those pressures to pleasure in that mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Number four um, thing this, this season stands for is found in the book of Genesis chapter 8, verse 50, the, verse 5b. Genesis chapter 8, verse 5b. That is talking about Noah. Genesis chapter 8, verse 5b. The Bible says, in the 10th month, this is the 10th month of, this is the month of October. Now we are going into Bible's um, dimension. We have looked at the circular dimension of what this month starts for. So number four is taking us to Biblical dimension, number four and, and the rest. Now, this, um, the Bible says in the 10th month, that is the month of October. This month of October is the 10th month. On the first day of the month, where the tops of the mountain sees, sin. That's talking about Noah after all the flood episode and all of that. The Bible says in the 10th month, where after the flood, you know, th th there was a lot of issue with respect to Noah. Because as far as, far as Noah is concerned, he's just inside that place. He doesn't have house again. He doesn't have a car again. He doesn't have a he doesn't have farm again. You know, he was just there looking at what, what is going to happen to him now. But the Bible says that in the 10th month, on the first day of the month, when the tops of the mountain see, sing, you know? Now, what I saw in that is that, you know, when some people have mountains that are troubling their life, but they don't even know it. When somebody has an issue, and the, the issue, the person doesn't even know that it, about that, he, he doesn't know the core of the issue that is troubling him. That person has not started. But the moment the person can identify that this is the mountain troubling my life, I believe the, pro, the, 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 the journey to victory has started with that person. And that is what God is going to do in our lives. He, are there hidden things that are hindering our lives that we don't even know? Those things are hindering our progress. They are there to cause cat catastrophe. Imagine, um, 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 imagine those mountains are not revealed to, to Noah and his, and his boat or his um, cane or whatever goes and hits the mountain. You know what will happen. But God made him to see the top of the mountain. He made him to see so that he can be victorious. We are going to be praying. What are the things that are hidden, that are troubling my life? Lord, expose them. We are going to say, Father, expose the plot of the wicked against my life and give me victory over them in this month in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever plot it is that the enemy has against me, expose it, Lord, and give me victory. Expose it. Whatever plot the enemy has against my husband, whatever plot the enemy has against my children, Father, expose it. Expose it, oh God, this month of October and give us victory. Whatever plot the enemy has against my life, against my business, against all that has to do with me, Father, expose them. Expose them. The work of the enemy will not be hidden in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, expose the plot of the enemy against my life and give me victory over them this month of October in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Father expose the plot of the enemy and give it victory this month of October in the name of Jesus Father we thank you Lord we give you praise in Jesus name we have prayed number five number five this is still an, another ember month you know we entered ember month last last um, last last month this is October this second of the ember month and you know this ember month, a lot of interpretation has been given to it. But I took this interpretation from what, uh, from the preaching my husband to, uh, God's servant, my husband, uh, Pastor Dayafaji, from the teaching it took sometime last year, and I was blessed by it. You know, ember, ember is, uh, ember is, um, it's a kind of, it's a kind of, um, what did they call it? Something that is already going off. Like you talk about coal. You know that has some fire. So it doesn't have fire again, but it's already it's like it's already going off. But this season, God wants to fan it to flame. God wants to fan it to flame so that our work with Him, all that has all the good things God has been doing in our life that seem to be to be dulling out. God wants to fan them to flame. So I want us to pray, Father, fan to flame the ember of my spiritual work with you. Fan to flame the ember of my spiritual work with you. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, oh God, fan to flame, oh God, the ember of my work with you, the ember of my prayer life, oh God, fan it to flame. I want us to pray. 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 Father, in the name of in this month of October, fan to flame the ember of my work with you, fan to flame the ember of my 
spiritual work with you, the of my prayer life, the of my Bible study life, in the mighty name of Jesus, the of my ability to hear you. Father, find me to pray, find me to pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Actually, that's supposed to be number six. Number five that we're actually going to. You know, I, I did that as number five because I want us to take time on this one that we are going into. And I know God is going to help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I welcome everybody again, you know, to this family altar, the people that are just that are just joining. And I want us to know that if you are joining for the first time, we normally mute everyone so that there won't be distractions due to a uh, uh, lagging in our voices. You know, this Zoom thing, there's a way it lags when everybody is talking to the microphone at the same time. We don't want that. We want everybody to be able to concentrate and have, you know, a good time in God's presence. And also, I want to say that this session is being recorded and the recording is going to be sent afterwards. Please, you can look at it again and let us, you know, pray and look at all those things that we have already rushed through that we didn't have time to really talk about um, as much as it ought to. So that we can and please anytime you um, you log in to watch, remember to like and subscribe for fa to Family Altar Prayer Platform. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. And if you are not in our mailing list yet, you can always look at. I think it should be on the uh, in the chat room right now. The, the, there's a link for a form, and there's a, there will be a number there that, that you can call even if you miss out the link. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. We are trusting God this morning that six on the dot we will release everyone so that we can go to church. God bless us in Jesus' name. Now, number 16, number 16 that this month starts from is God wants to take us to royalty. God wants to take us to royalty. And I want to read from the book of Esther chapter 2, verse 16. We are looking at what God has in store for us. Every month we do that so that we know what to pray about into our lives because it is only as far as we can see that we can have. We saw them, we saw uh, um, examples in several places in scriptures. It is only as far as we can see that we can have. This month, God wants to move us. He wants to take us to royalty. And I want, to, I want us to look at the book of Esther chapter 2. Esther chapter 2, verse 16. The Bible says, so Esther was taken into King Asarius, into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month of Tebas in the seventh year of his reign. Esther was taken into the house royal, into the house of the king, as the wife of the king, in the month, in the tenth month of the year. Hallelujah. Amen. Esther was taken into royalty. I want us to look at something about this royalty of a, of a thing. You know, royalty is a status. Is a status of a king or a queen or their family. That means royalty is not something that can be given to people. It is something that is in their bloodline. Praise the Lord. Amen. Royalty is a status. So you can't get it by certificate. You can't say because I'm a professor, I, am, I, am, I belong to the royal family. A very good example of royalty is what we see in the, in, in, in the British uh, royal family. You know, the queen just passed away. We, we saw all the things that happened. I, I was looking at a, an article one day and I saw over 60 rules, you know, that has to do with royalty. You know, royalty is, is something that is in the bloodline. You can't have it by certificate. You can't study into royalty. You can't even have it by riches. There are many wealthy people all over the world, but they are not royal. They are not classified as royal because it is something that is in blood status. It's, it's something that is in the bloodline. It's a status that is in the bloodline. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, this Esther we are talking about, it's not just a common person. You know, when you have royal, we have common. You have royal, you have common. You have royal, you have average. But in the case of Esther, Esther was not common. She, was not, she wasn't just common. She wasn't average. She was below average. Esther was actually a property because she was a slave. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. This Esther we are talking about was a slave. That means God moved her many steps over. God didn't just move her from being somebody's property to be somebody's child and not be somebody's uh, leader or something like that. No. And that is what God is going to do for us. I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are, where you are believing God to be. 
It doesn't matter how far-fetched it is. God is going to move every one of us many steps over, even into that royalty that we desire. Or that we don't, that, that is more than what we desire in the name of Jesus. Amen. That was what God did for him. That, that was what God did for Esther. Esther was a property. She was a slave girl. She was lesser than common. She was lesser than average. But God moved her. God moved her. And he moved her to royalty. You know, a song says, Bo sheman shenye, bo sheman shenye, o man seru joba, o man seru joba, wo ni kosaye loke, o wa ye fumi loke, o go go fole mi, ya nu loru kore, bo sheman shenye, bo sheman shenye, o man seru joba, o man seru joba. That's the God we are serving. That's the God we serve. And he will move us from whatever level we are, even into royalty this month of October, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to be praying. Number six prayer. Father, I want to move to royalty. Take me there. You know, it is God that takes. Esther alone, and we are going to look at certain things. Esther alone, could, Esther by herself couldn't have been able to. But God took her there. We are going to be praying. Father, take me to royalty by yourself. I want to enter royalty this month of October. Starting from this month of October, I want to enter into royalty in every area of my life. Take me there by yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take me there. Take me there. Take me there. Take me there, take me there, take me there by yourself. Oh Lord, in royalty there's no lack. In royalty, there's no problem. In royalty, oh God, there's no want. Everything is a voice in abundance. Take me to royalty. Spiritually, oh God, physically, in every area of my life, both me and my entire household. Father, take us to royalty this month in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Hallelujah. You know, the way we are seeing this is, I just want us to keep, you know, there are, we have, I believe all of us have areas that we are trusting God for. We can always, you know, um, narrow this prayer down to that area in specifics, because one of the rules of answered prayers is that you need to be specific. Even though we are calling this thing now, please let us make, let us try and narrow it to our specifics and we shall have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, another thing I want to, I want us to look, now look at five things that happen in royalty, you know, that happened to Esther in royalty. Naturally, you know, when we talk about royalty, we are talking about a place of abundance. We are talking about a, a place of affluence. We are talking about a place of surplus, a place of super abundance. You can imagine, just look at um, uh, uh, King, uh, Queen Elizabeth or now King um, Charles now. Now, look at his, his uh, emperor or his uh, kingdom. Would, would, they, would they begin to think of a uh, breakfast? No. Even if somebody is a slave or somebody is a bond, whatever, whatever, if, that, if those things still exist, everybody eats and eats to their field. That's not what they are thinking of. They are not thinking of money. They are not thinking of gold. They are not thinking of precious things. That is where God wants to take us to. And he's going to take us there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Where nothing that is good is a concern anymore. But we'll be in abundance in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to look at certain things that happened to Esther when she moved to reality. I'm going to be praying with them. The Bible says in that Esther chapter 2, verse 17 to 18, the Bible says, And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head. We are, still, we are first of all going to pray, God, I receive grace to do your bidding. Esther had grace. She found grace before the king. She found grace. I want us to pray. Lord, I receive grace. Who is, where is that place you are knocking at that the door is still locked against you? It's because you have not found grace. First of all, we are going to be praying concerning grace for grace to do God's bidding. I tell you, if you are, if the Bible says, if a man's way pleases the Lord, he will make everyone to work for him. Even his enemies will work for him. And that is the level we want God to take us to. Where every circumstance, every situation, every human being will work for us in our favor. And the yes. only place, the only way we can do that is for us to align with God. We are going to be praying, God, grace to do your bidding and receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. This month of October, I want to align myself with you. 
grace to do your bidding. What is that thing that you know you are supposed to be doing, but you don't have the grace for it? That thing, your work with God, your Bible study life, your relationship with God, obedience to the word of God, serving God, serving humanity, doing the right thing. You know, I want us to pray. Grace, grace. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, oh God Almighty, for myself, for my husband, for my children, all through this month of October, Lord, we receive grace to do your bidding. Grace to do, to do your bidding as individuals. Grace to do your bidding as a family in the mighty name of Jesus. For everyone connected to this family also this morning, I receive for them, oh God Almighty, grace, grace, Lord. Grace to do your bidding. Grace to do your bidding. Lord, do we give everyone in the name of Jesus. Because we are connected this morning. Because we are listening to this prayer this morning. Because we are praying on the, uh, uh, in this session this morning. Even if you are praying after. Lord, because we are praying in this session, in this, with this, with this um, session. Father, we pray, oh God, for grace, Lord. Grace to do your bidding. Lord, it takes grace. It takes grace, Lord, to please you. Father, we receive in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Because it takes grace to please God. The Bible says it's God that work in us, both to will and to do. Hallelujah. That is the grace of God. If you see anybody doing the right thing, doing pleasing God, being obedient, you know, to, to God, working with God, it's not by anybody's power. Nobody. That you are standing here this morning to pray. It's not by your power. It is the grace of God. And we need this grace in multiple and we you know from what i said the first first five things that i said about this month this month is the month of double grace hallelujah and that has been ministered to us in the name of jesus because we need grace to align with god and we need to align with god to have all our needs met hallelujah praise the lord number two we saw that esther had favor the bible says she obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all other people. This is somebody that was not qualified. This is a slave girl. This is a property. You know, she found favor because God was with her. I want us to pray. God, give me favor. You know, I put it here. Favor that would make me loved. Put it upon my life. Some people, anywhere they get to, they are just, they are, they are, it's just that they irritate people. People that want to help them, people that, God, that should have been a source of help, a source of blessing to them, they just kind of irritate them. It could be whatever. If, if time permits us by the grace of God, I will look at what Esther did, you know, to be able to. There are certain things, there, especially one that he did, that I want to look at, but that with the, the time will determine that. You know, there are certain things she did, and that's why we have asked for grace. And that, I don't know that that grace, to be able to do the right thing that our destiny deserves, God has given to, to us in Jesus' name. So we're going to be praying, favor that will make me loved. Favor that will make me loved. Put it upon my life. In the work that I do. In the study, in my, before my lecturers, in my academics. All my ways. Favor that will make me loved. Put it upon my life. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Because God has moved us to royalty, we'll find favor. I want us to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. In this month of October, I receive your favor, 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 favor upon my life. Clothe me with your favor. Clothe me with your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, clothe my husband with your favor. Clothe my children with your favor. Clothe our household with your favor. Favor that will make us loved. Lord Jesus, Father, clothe us with it. Clothe us with this, oh God, in this month of October, this month, oh God of job grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, clothe us with favor. Clothe us with favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are still going to pray. It is favor that opens doors. There are doors that are shut against people. Like all these virgins here. Only God knows how many. I can't really remember how many. I, have not, I don't even know whether the Bible mentioned to us, but I know there were so many. The virgins. It was favor that opened the door of the palace to Esther. So I don't know what door is it that is closed against us. The truth is that every one of us, every one of us, including me, that we are on this platform, we have brought certain things before God. And I know that God will turn them to testimonies in our lives Amen. in the name of Jesus. So we're going to be praying. Favor that we open door. Put it upon my life, Lord. Favor that will make doors to be opened on their own accord. 
doors of goodness, doors of greatness, doors of lifting. Put that favor upon my life in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I receive favor, 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 favor that we open doors, that we open doors, doors of lifting, doors of blessing upon my life in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I receive that favor for everyone on this platform in all our work stuff. Father, I receive favor for everyone. Favor that we open doors of contract to us, that we open doors of, of, of patronage to us. Father, favor that we open doors of promotion to us. Father, I pray you give upon, you put upon our lives. Glory our lives in favor on this platform. Close our lives in favor. Favor that we give our children excellent success. That we help them to excel in the academics. That we give them, that we give them excellent. Father, put it upon our children in the name of Jesus Christ. In the favor that we open door. Favor that will give us help. Oh, put it upon our lives. Put it upon. Close our lives with favor. In the name of every one of us on this one. Close our lives with favor. Favor from above in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. If you go further in that scripture, the Bible says that so that he set the royal crown upon our head. The king himself set the royal crown upon the head of um of Esther. You know, we are going to be praying, Lord, beautify my life with your crown. When somebody wears crown, you know, it's 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 an epitome of beauty. Even people that are not in the royals, maybe somebody is having wedding and you know, there's this crown that brides wear and all of that. It's always beautiful. So we are going to be praying, Lord, beautify my life. What does what is it that you need to be beautified for? Is with is it your health? Is it your finances? Is it breakthrough? Is it whatever it is? I want us to pray, God, beautify my life. And I want you to be specific in this area. Maybe your health is affecting you. God, beautify my life with good health. We are going to pray that way. Whatever it is, I want us to pray. Lord, crown me to beautify my life. I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the month of October, Lord, I receive, I receive your crown of beauty upon my life. Father, crown me to beautify my life. Crown me to beautify my life. Crown me to beautify my life, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, crown me to beautify my life. Crown me with your blessing. Crown me with sound health. Crown me, God, with breakthrough on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, crown me. Crown my husband, crown my children, crown, crown also God with good success, good success on all sides, though, in all areas, though, on everything we put our hands upon. Father, success, breakthrough of God, prosperity, crown our lives to God with beauty, crown our lives with beauty, prosperity. Let, let it be our portion, let it be our experience. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, crown my life, oh God Almighty, with your beauty, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, Lord, I give you praise. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now, number 10. The Bible says that, prayer number, no, prayer number 10. The Bible says that, and the king loved us. Okay, we have left that place. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes. You know, Esther was not just, you know, received with favor. She didn't just find grace. The Bible says she was crowned with beauty. She became beautiful overnight. She has always been beautiful. But you can imagine that kind of, you know, that, that ex, ex, is it exuberance or whatever they call it, you know, of being a queen. And it didn't stop there. The king now said, okay, because you're my queen, I want to celebrate you. The Bible says, and the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants. Even Esther's feast. So we are going to pray. Lord, this month I pray. I will have reason to celebrate and be celebrated. Amen. I will have, there are certain testimonies that you don't need to announce by yourself. People will announce it on your behalf. That is the kind of testimony God will give us. Amen. Such testimony that people will say, ah, haven't you seen what God did for them? You know, look at Faji Misa, see what God did for them. You know, there are so many families connected here. There are so many families called. They can say, ah, look at Shobola's life. Look at Sadejimi's life. Look at um, Taiwo's family. Look at Olumodegi's family. And so much, and so many. Look at uh, um, Mommy Fatima uh, Raji Saki's family. Look at Mrs. Chioma's, you know, everybody's family. Look at Mommy Odedoko's family. Everybody's family here will receive such a testimony. Mm -hmm. Such a testimony that people will look at your family and be like, 
Oh, see what God did for the Olufemis. This that God did for them, I desire it for my family. And that will be our experience in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to be praying, Lord, I will have reason to celebrate and we'll be celebrated this month of October. I want us to put our mouth and pray to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I will have reasons to celebrate this month of October. I will have reasons to celebrate and I will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. I will have reasons to celebrate and I will be celebrated. Oh Lord, my family, we have reasons to celebrate and I will, and will be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for every family here. Oh God, Father, the family of the Apollos, they will have reasons to celebrate and they will be celebrated. The family of Michelle and the family of Adiola, the family of Adiri Dibe, the family of Jones, the family of Adiri the family of Olatsuji, the family of Olufemi, the family of Sharon, Adiponji, the family of Toki Soji, the family of Abodune, the family of Alori, the family of Ayeni, in the name of the, the family of virtue, the family of Adeolu, the family of Adebi, every family represented here. Lord, you know them all. You know them all. Every family represented here this month will be celebrated. All our families will be celebrated. We will be celebrated. The family of Adeno will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. We'll have reason to celebrate. Others will join us to celebrate. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to take one more thing before we proceed in, on this um, issue of Esther. You know, the, I want us to know that the life of Esther received hell. Be, you know, naturally, there's this natural law that operates. Nobody can rise without helpers. It doesn't matter what you have. You will still need somebody somewhere to be, to be able to, re, to rise. You know, there's a saying that all blessings come from God through men, to men. When God wants to bless us, we are, I, don't think, I don't think there's anybody here that has seen God come down physically to bless us. He will always send somebody. You know, all the blessings that God will put to us, we put upon our lives, must come from God. Yes. But it must come through men. And that is why we are going to pray this prayer. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 21. I want to read verse 21 and 22. The Bible says, and they helped David. David was already ordained a king in God's program, in God's agenda. He was already ordained a king. But he still needed help of God through men. That was why God sent these people to him. Because God is going to send helpers our ways this month. That is why I'm saying this. God sent helpers to the way of, of, of Esther. That was why she was able to, to get away. The first helper God sent to her was Mordecai. And there are other helpers along our path. God will send helpers our path this month of October. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. He will, say, he will bring his blessing upon our life. Those blessings, he will, he will bring them through the men he has ordained. And those blessings will reach us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sometime earlier this year, I will remember people that have been on this platform. All the videos are on YouTube. You know, I, I, there was a day I mentioned, I, I, we break certain things about our helpers. Because there are helpers that we forget, that God has to remind. There are helpers that we refuse. The ones that we forget, we saw in the, in the life of our serious. God had to take sleep away from him. You know, there are helpers that we refuse. We saw that in the, in the, in the, in the life of Jonah. God has to compel them. There are, there are helpers that will even be sick. We saw that in the life of David when he was going from sick land to go and take his possession. God has to you know, minister healing to them. And so many, I, I remember I mentioned like five or six things that we need to pray for for signing away because we need helpers. And helpers will not elude our lives in Jesus' name. The Bible says, and they helped David against the band of the rovers. For they were all mighty men of valor and were captains in the host, verse 22. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him until it was a, until it was a great host, like the host of God. Now, the FOC there is day by day. We need helper on daily basis. We are going to be praying. Lord, send me daily helpers all through this month of October and beyond. You know, the play, that place, you and I want to get to. It's just one step. We just need one connection. 
God can send that connection to us. I don't know what your situation is. Me, I know what my own situation is. And I'm taking it to God. I brought it before God. And you will give me testimony. Mm -hmm. And you will give every one of us on this platform and I also testimonies in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be praying, Lord, send me daily helpers all through this October and beyond. Send me daily helpers all through this October and beyond. The Bible says, day by day, there came to David to help to help him. This man was helping him until David became great and he didn't need their help again. Not out of uh, not out of pride or whatever. He had just been you had just been able to acquire or to to attain that height that he desired. And that will be our experiences in the name of Jesus. So we're going to say, Lord, send me daily helper all through this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. That place where you need them, apply it in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I call upon you today. Father, send me daily helper all through this month of October. Daily, daily, you will send helper to me. You will send helper to me, Lord, in the name of helper that will help us, that will help my spiritual life, help us, that will help my prayer life, help us, that will help my business, help us, that will help the work that I do, help us, that will help my children, Help us that we help my husband. Help us that we help my study life. Help us that we help everything that my destiny de require. Lord, I pray. You will send me. You will send me help. You will send me help. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. In the name of the Bible, say, send us help, oh Lord. Send us help, oh Lord. God is going to send us help. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you will send me help. Daily, daily, daily. Send me help us. Send me help us. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help, help us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Please, before I so let's just pray this. There are places where our voices cannot reach. God will send help us to speak in our people. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Father, that all those things that my voice cannot reach, Father, you will send help us. You will send help us not to speak in my favor. They will speak in my favor. They will speak in my favor. They will do things in my favor. This month of October, people will do things in my favor. They will do things where, where my ability cannot get, where my voice cannot get. You will raise voices for me in the name of Jesus. You will raise voices for my husband. You will raise voices for my children. You will raise voices for my household. Oh God, to favor us, to help in the name of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Right now, we are going to be praying for our nation. I actually wanted to tell us certain things that Esther did, but I'm looking at time. But I promise us, by the grace of God, somehow we'll be able to put it together with the next session. And God is going to help us. Because there are certain things Esther did that helped us into royalty. And I know God is going to help us to be able to do the right thing in the name of Jesus. So right now, we are going to be praying for our nation because it is important. And I want to implore us, even if you are not in Nigeria, please pray for us. I know that you love Nigeria. That's why we are on this platform together. Please pray for this nation. Pray for Nigeria and God is going to help. And to do that is the man I honor so much, the man I, I respect. And that is my husband, who is my mentor. So Pastor Dayo, please, sir, kindly lead us to pray for Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Okay. We are going to be praying for Nigeria. First, we are going to thank God for Nigeria. I want us to begin to appreciate God for this nation. Begin to thank God for Nigeria, for God's faithfulness to this nation. Let's begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria, for God's agenda for this nation. Let's begin to appreciate him. Say, Father, we thank you for your faithfulness to this nation. We thank you for your mercy to this nation. We thank you for your kindness to this nation. Let's begin to thank God, begin to thank God, begin to thank God, begin to thank God. Let's appreciate God. Let's exalt his name because he has been a good God. God has been good to Nigeria. God has been good to us. God has kept us together. Let's thank God. Let's appreciate him. Let's exalt his name. Let's give him all the praise because he has been a good God to us. Let's say, Father, we thank you for Nigeria. We thank you. It could have been worse than this for this nation, but God has been good to us. Let's thank God. Say, Father, thank you for Nigeria. For the economy, we thank you. For our leaders, we thank you. For the policy, we thank you. For the education, we thank you. For every aspect of this nation, Father, we thank you. Let's give him thanks. 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 Father, we thank you. 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 
In Jesus' name, we are prayed. I want us to also pray and ask of God, let your breath come upon every positive effort to move Nigeria forward. Some people are making good effort. Some people are sincere in this nation, making effort for the nation to make progress. There's a stand out on this particular network tonight now, is one of our leaders in the Institute of Architects. And they are working to create a better uh, built environment. That's a positive uh, commitment. There are people like that, that are sincere, doing something to move the nation forward. You have to ask of God, Lord, breathe upon every positive effort and make it successful. Everyone making sincere effort to make Nigeria great, let their effort succeed. Let their effort succeed. Let's ask of God and pray. Everyone making sincere effort for this nation to make progress. Let their effort prosper. Let's pray and talk to God. Let their effort prosper. Everyone making genuine effort in whatever sector they have. Father, let their effort succeed. Let their effort prosper. Breathe upon their effort. Give them success. Let's ask of God. Give them success. Everyone making genuine effort. Give them success. Give them success. Give them success. Give them success. Let's pray. Father, give them success. Everyone making genuine effort. We pray you give them success. Give them mighty Everyone making effort. Give them success. Give them success. Give them success. Give them success. Father, this nation we ask of everyone in their various corner, making genuine effort to make Nigeria great. Let their effort be successful. 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 Oh Lord, we ask of you, great God, that their effort will be successful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. God, 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 God, Let's ask that God, let your hand rest upon our leaders that you will turn their hearts to work for the good of God. That's the last prayer point. Let your hand rest upon our leaders. Turn their hearts for the good of God. Let's pray and talk to God. Father, let your hand rest upon the of all of our political leaders, the president, the governors, the senators, the rep members, let's pray for them. Let your hand rest upon our leaders, oh God and turn their heart to work for the good of this nation. Turn their hearts, turn their hearts, turn their hearts to work for the good of the nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Father, we thank you for Nigeria. We are great together this morning. We appreciate you for your faithfulness to this nation. And we pray that everyone making genuine effort, you will breathe upon those efforts and make them successful in the name of Jesus. For Amen. Are to have to be upon them, and Lord, you will touch their heart to begin to work for the good of this nation, not for selfish interest, but God, they will work for the good of the nation. Let it be so for leaders, you will turn their hand to favor the wealthy Nigerians in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, we appreciate that. Um, we are going to be rounding up right now. We still call him. I, was, I should have just told him to do that. Oh. Sir, please, can you round up for us so that we can release the people to for the church, for church? Our Father, we thank you this thank morning. Thank you. We give you praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the assurance that we will pray to we hear us. Yes, Lord. So when we answer us. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. So this month, I decree each one of us step into our season of royalty. Amen. Our season of favor, our season of enlargement, our season Amen. of celebration. In our Amen. home, it shall be feasting time. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ, the God Amen. of heaven will favor each one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As it was ever that God sent men to celebrate that, this month of October, we will be celebrating. Amen. 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 Amen
for what is wrong with the Jesus. blood of Jesus. For the Amen. rest of the world, who we have safety and protection. Amen. We have the help of God. The grace of God we have bound towards us. Amen. It shall be well. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you Lord, Jesus. we give you praise. We pray, oh God, Father, for on this platform, Lord, we pray for my father that your hand will be strong upon her. Amen. Lord, we pray we anoint you, we empower our flesh. Amen. Father, we pray. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone, for making. Making it out to come this week, this song. in the name of Jesus, we shall all be gathered here again in, in November 2022. We now increase state and with our testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please and please let's tell all the people this video will be uploaded. Please, we can still pray you know, some prayers that we have prayed before. We can still pray it again and again. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a show of this be or one belief, but it's a show that we actually trust God. You know that he's the one that can do it for us, and he's going to do it for us in the name of Jesus. If we do beyond our expectations in the name of Jesus, like I said, we are going to be looking at certain things that Esther did. Maybe another time, it's not today again. Please, we, we I, I appreciate you. We appreciate you, Madam, and I appreciate you. God bless you. God bless your family, and we are coming back with our testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, you will notice that we've not been using music, the all those um music um all those um copyright music again because um YouTube started. It started, um, they raised a flag 